What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? 
Welcome to the stream. I'm Yogo coming to you live on twitch.tv. Welcome to all my Lakers Shatters and VOD watchers. It's a pleasure to have you. A pleasure to be here for you today. I hope you all are having a wonderful Wednesday evening as the weight of it sets in. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. It is the midweek. And as you all know, there may be a little bit of smoking, maybe a little bit of drinking going on on the stream. So if you're underage, don't do it. If you never smoke or drink before in your life, don't start. But if you are going to join me, then please do so responsibly. Welcome, everybody. Hopefully you all are doing well today. Danny boy, what's going on, good sir? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today on this lovely Wednesday? Oh, man. Uh, so, yes. But today I'm considering playing Monster Hunter GU. I actually played it a little. Nine more days. I know, right? I know, right? God damn. But at least, at least there's a couple things to look forward to this week. At least in my opinion, there's a couple things to look forward to this week. Uh, one of those being the Snyder Cut of Justice League. Uh, airing on tomorrow, I believe. And then on Friday, Shiro says, Ring! What's going on, Shiro? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a wonderful... Uh-oh. I'll fix that, Shiro. One second. I'll, I'll fix you. I, I'll, it can be fixed. We have the technology. We can, we can fix that. Thomas. One second. What, what's going on? Why didn't it change? Uh oh. Wait. Hold on, Shiro. I can fix it. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, hold on a second. I'll fix it. Just wait. For some reason, all right, Shiro, this is this is what's happening. My my uh my avatar thing is not recognizing you as a mod. You are a mod. It says it so on Twitch, but it's not recognizing it on the app. Uh, but yes, how did it go yesterday? Uh, so we came close. If that's any indication. If that's any indication to go by, we came close, but we didn't quite succeed. There, it was. There was also a couple of time, a couple of rounds we played with the randoms. I still remember a few of them, like B Man, Mix ninety two, uh, fucking. That's it. Oh, and Skittles. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't know their exact names, but mostly just the names I gave them. So B-Man, Skittles, Mix, and I forget the last guy. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, it's fixed. It's recognizing you. Got it. All right, fixed it. But yeah, today, plan to, well, that depends. Shiro, did you want to get in a match of Monster Hunter Rise before I started playing uh, GU? Some rounds of that Rise in before bed. But yeah, we um we definitely we got this. we we came close. I'm trying to stay positive about it because we did get our asses absolutely destroyed quite often but we tried we came close <laughs> that's the best way for me to put it so actually if it, it what really got us the most of our trial was um fighting was the time limit the time limit always got us quick question though as a very positive person would you ever ever give yourself a 9 out of 10 during a self-assessment? <laughs> Wait, what? I mean... A 
a self-reflection. Well, it depends, right? I think it depends on what I'm doing it for. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's like for like a job interview, 10 out of 10. <laughs> or nine out of 10, nine or 10 out of 10. I'd probably go at nine because I feel like a 10 would be too overzealous. So I'd be like nine out of 10 to be a little bit modest. If it was like for school, yeah, probably like a nine out of 10. You know, to be a little conservative, a little modest. But like, feels like an online. <laughs> feels like an online, like quiz. I'd probably like. It feels like an online quiz where it's just like, just like for it had no real value other than just, hey, how honest do you want to be? I'd probably give myself a five. I don't think too negatively about myself i don't think too positively about myself i just see myself as borderline <laughs> okay during a peer review we need to self-reflect giving everybody an eight and lower but yourself a nine <laughs> i mean it depends on how you see yourself right like it means that you kind of that's 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 almost like putting yourself in a place of superiority in comparison to them right so it's like saying um you know my team is great but i feel like i'm just a little bit better than them <laughs> this man said a 10 out of 10. he said he said if i had to give i was like i would get everybody eight or lower but myself a fucking 10. Straight up, straight up superiority complex. At least with the nine, you're still being a little modest. I'm not entirely a 10, so I'll give myself a nine because there is always room for improvement. <laughs> I find it so arrogant and it frustrates me, especially when I have noticed so many things about you that you would need to work on. I mean, of course, right? <laughs> Danny's a five. If that's if that's if they have you know decimal scale capabilities, right? You got they gotta have that. They gotta be. They have to have that ability. Um. I mean, I feel like that's the. I think that's the point of the like self reflection or the self assessment, right? Because it's not it's. See, people, when they look at the self-assessment scores, like, well, how would you score your team and how would you score yourself? Right? When they when they, when they they ask you that question, they're not really asking you to tell, like, they, they are asking you to tell you, for you to tell them what you think of your teammate, but also to see what you think of yourself in comparison to the others. So then it lets the person, whoever's reading that, whoever's going to read that assessment, can actually see your thoughts it was like oh, okay i see this guy this is what he thinks of his teammates and this is how he sees himself that man was, was like he said the man was so arrogant to give himself most of the task and be like yeah i can finish it today was the deadline he did almost nothing <laughs> i mean you know i feel like that's one of those things that's bound to happen especially in an online environment a lot of times people will bite off more than they can chew because in an online environment, a lot of times you run, operate at your own pace. And Danny says, I've been told I have an ego. I've been told that too. I've been called many things. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, like I said, I feel like self-assessment scores are like assessment scores are really to dive into the it's for the person reading it to dive into the mind of the individual who gave the, the scores and it's very much a kind of a i feel a very similar way not to get off topic here but i feel that's a very similar approach when it comes to like when people score 
like TV shows or anime or games that they've played. Like it kind of gives you a perspective of that person's mind. Danny says only by one person. Oh no. I hope it's not. I hope it's not the chick we were talking about yesterday, man. If so, I disagree. <laughs> Real talk, I've never really seen you as the type of person to have such a big ego. Like, at least not here in this chat. I said, not nah, a different chick. Damn, this man moving around. That's cool. Shiro says, I straight up told him in the peer review, to take a good look at yourself and think. Are you really that good? Or do you need to rethink what you truly are capable of? Because you didn't finish shit. <laughs> Damn, you worded it just like that. That's incredible. Like, you know, most people try to be a little bit conservative in how they uh, they approach situations like this. This man, Shiro, just he was just out with it, straight blunt. Which you know, respect, respect. Sometimes you just got to be that way. But yeah, for for the dude to give himself a nine, and then in comparison, give everybody else an eight or lower. And yet he didn't finish any of the work. Yeah, I could probably see that as being a bit conceited. Because, um... Yeah, man. Like, there's... There's definitely a flaw in that situation. Or in that scenario. I feel you. I, I, I can understand being fucking upset about that. He said, fuck no. He dared to take my task as well. Work on those first while I was here like, bruh, let me work on my own task. <laughs> Send his ass to the sweatshop. I mean, Danny, that's probably what he wants. Probably what he wants, taking all that work. Cools, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you, my good sir. Cools goes on and says, bite his ass. Yum, 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 yum. Welcome, man. Hopefully you're having a wonderful Wednesday evening. What's going on, Cools? Yeah, man, it's, uh, I don't know how I feel about it. That's a little, it's a little fucked up to be that way. Like that guy to be that way. I, I can't definitely agree. It's a little fucked up. He shouldn't have been that way. Shouldn't have. But, you know, one of the same, one of the exact same, uh, things that, um, it's, there, there's like a, a limit, right? Like there is a point where, you know, you should be like the MVP in your life, right? You, the most valuable person in your life should be you. But at the same time, you should also be a little bit more open-minded to the others or more respect to the others around you as well. And then he says, it's like that RE runner. RE runner? I'm not sure what RE Runner you're, you're talking about. Just finished the midterm. Now I'm chilling. More Monster Hunter Day? Something other than Rise, right? Yeah, I was considering playing Monster Hunter GU, a world. But if Shiro wanted to hop one to Rise, because I don't know if he has any of the other Monster Hunters, except for World. I know for sure he has World, but on PC. And he says he called himself a god. Dude, there's oh god, wait, I'm gonna get back to that. I'm gonna get back to that, Danny. That's a good one. I'm gonna get back to that. Chiro says, also, this guy told me to do more research while I'm here. Like, you only did research? We had way more to worry about than just researching. I feel you. I feel you. He said, I had the Rise demo, GU on Switch, World on PS4, and PC. Yeah, so I actually bought GU. The day before yesterday, I believe I bought it on Monday. Correct me if I'm wrong. Now, look, I, I'm, I was planning on playing that today, but because I have to create a new character, I'm not sure how it works. I don't really know how GU works entirely. I, I created my character. I did the training, but uh, that was about as far as I got. GU, goo. We're going to be playing that goo, that Monster Hunter goo. But yeah, so... There's this thing that bugs me. It's a little pet peeve I have. 
that's a little pet peeve. Like, there, I feel like when other people call you a god, right? They they be like, oh man, this dude's godlike, or he's like a god of this game, right? You know, I, I get it. It's just people's just saying, okay, that guy's really good at this game. He's really good at what he does. But when other people are just like, yeah, I'm a god at this, or I'm a god at that, but yet, like, I'm like, bro. <laughs> I'm like, bro, stop, please, please don't do that. Don't call yourself a god. When other people call it, like, when other people refer to you as a god, I'm usually like, okay with it. I don't have much time, but I figured I'd stop by just to say hello. So hello, bye. <laughs> She's already gone. Damn it, Huey, come back. I'm just kidding. Uh, welcome, Huey. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful Wednesday evening. It's good to see you. Thank you for stopping by. Danny says he'll find the video. Video. Cool, cool. <laughs> okay. I need to chill out. Uh oh, fucking Cool's got puppy pictures to show. Oh, bro. Show and tell time today. Yay. Yes. I will put them up on the screen. Go ahead and drop some joints. Oh God, this man said he has chocolate. Don't try. This man trying to bribe her with chocolate. <laughs> nah, but real talk. Good to have you, Huey. It's good to have everybody here. So again, thank you to all my Lakers chatters and bottom watchers. It's a pleasure to have y'all. Thank you for stopping by the stream today. Again, hopefully everybody's having a wonderful Wednesday evening. We just, we just talking about, we just talking about people being conceited like being uh, is conceited the right word no 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 arrogance arrogance is probably the better being uh overly arrogant about things but in the case in the case of like what shiro's going on, it's not only arrogance but it's also like overzealous guy took on his entire team's work and then didn't finish. How the hell? Wait, what? Wait, what the fuck? Well, like, you would figure in a team scenario, you would want to delegate, not take all the work on to yourself. Dark chocolate. Not my, not my favorite. This <laughs> is like, that's all you, Huey. That is all you. Enjoy that. <laughs> I mean, you know, real talk though. When I was working in Hawaii, and this is back when I hated the taste of coffee, we used to try to figure out how to make the coffee taste better. So we would just take chocolate. It didn't matter what kind of chocolate, it could be dark chocolate, milk chocolate whatever we would just dump it in the in the coffee and let it melt and we'd have like mocha <laughs> and that's how we that's how we would drink the coffee but after a while i i just i got used to the coffee flavor and fucking just they would drink did you really danny danny did you did you really just try to did you really just try to rickroll me bro did you really just try to rickroll me? Oh, <laughs> uh, but you know what? The funniest thing about rickrolls, I actually like that song. So like, if I did click on that link, we'd probably just be sitting here listening to the entire video. Cause I actually quite like that song. I might be the only one who actually likes that fucking song. She says, as a kid, I tried to make coffee taste better. It was a mistake. <laughs> it, it you, you just gotta try the right combinations, Shiro. There are some cases you could actually just make coffee not taste like coffee at all, but you just, you just gotta know the right combination. He says she got an ad, win-win, it is a good song. 
that he says, yeah, I couldn't find it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cool's dropping pictures. Get these up once. Second. He said puppies. Where are they? Oh. Woo. Oh my god. That all white coat though? Like, yo. That is incredible. That is an amazingly cute puppy. In one second, we're going to check the uh the other link in just a second. Dude, this is why I love dogs. I, I absolutely love them. I don't know why I got a cat. <laughs> I should have got a goddamn dog. And look at the goats just chilling in the back like, hey, is this a picture of us? Nope, it's a picture of the doggy. <laughs> absolutely incredible. Let me get this other link going one second. Maybe goat pigs too? Wait, what? When? Is that 100% word staying? Oh, look, there's the baby goat. The little, little, they're about, the, they look like they're almost the same size. Or is the dog a little bit bigger than the goat? I can't tell. He's like, if they, I wonder if they were standing side by side. I feel like if they were standing side by side, the goat might be a little smaller. It's funny, they are the same size. Oh, okay, they are the same size. Hell yeah. Oh, that must be my head. God, dude, that is just such a beautiful looking dog right there. So, just incredible. This is, man. <laughs> Shut up, Shiro. <laughs> that is, that's a part of the family you talking about there. Look at it. The last picture you have is to be one of the go. Hell yeah. Bomb Shiro. <laughs> Send that man flying. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's a cute goat. I really like that. Like, I, like the white, I just it just looks so good. White fur just looks good to me. And, like white fur and black fur. Like, just if they were like either you have the all white, like this the these dog and the puppy, like I love it. And then, like, on the goat, though, like, the goat's white is feels a little bit more, like, cleaner and richer than, like, the dog's white. I don't, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little too carried away into, like, colors of the fur, but they look pretty. Very pretty. Very pretty. I love them. Thank you for sharing that. They're incredible. I really enjoyed that. Cool's always coming in here with the heart, man. Always coming in here with the heart. Uh, it's, it's so good. It's so good. Shiro. <laughs> you get? Are you? See, Shiro's the only person I know who gets hungry looking at pictures of a dog. He, like, bro, are you sure you ain't secretly, you know, from uh, some some Asian country? Yeah, I know it has nothing to do with the goat. That's why I figured it was the dog. <laughs> I don't know that they ate dogs over there. I know, right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that has nothing to do with the goat or the dogs. Bro, you fucking... That's... I don't know what to tell you, bro. You gotta... You gotta keep your, your gut in check. It might... It, you might say it has nothing to do with it. Your mind might say it, but your stomach is over there just like, I got other things to say. I have things to say that are say otherwise. To be fair, we don't know what the Chinese food places sell, so... Well, actually... Actually... I can tell you what Chinese places sell. Like, man, I... Like, dude, I go, there's a place uh, a couple of hours from where I live. Well, I went there last weekend, not last weekend, the weekend before last. And I had some Chinese there. 
authentic Cantonese style. Although, from what my friend told me, my friend told me it's actually more so Hong Kong style. So it was like authentic Hong Kong Chinese. And dude, I had some roast duck. I had some fucking some roast pig. I had some roast quail. <laughs> I don't know if you know what quail is, but it's fucking it's basically just another bird. But the funniest shit, the funniest shit is when I walked into that restaurant and I looked, walked over to the counter, there's just a roasted <clears throat> pig head looking at you through the glass. <laughs> it's just, it's just looking at you, bro. And it, it makes you wonder, or at least it made me ask myself, do I really want to order food from here right now? <laughs> And then, and literally as that thought passes through my mind, they're pushing out this cart that just got rolls, just rolls of fucking like roast duck, roast pig, roasted fucking chicken, everything all on a fucking cart. They're just rolling that shit to the back kitchen. I was like, God damn. <laughs> that shit's incredible. I like Chinese restaurants are great. He said, I've shot quail. I've only had, like I said, I've only had quail one time. Well, two times. Uh, including the time that I, I went to that restaurant it starts blinking that's my point that's my point bro that is my point I'll be sitting there I, I took I remember I, I, I was eating dinner at one of my Asian friends house and I was like look don't give me the head of the fish or the pig I don't want it my friend was like why I was like because I don't want it looking at me as I'm eating it. <laughs> <That's> just, <laughs> that shit made me feel self-conscious, bro. It made me feel self-conscious. You just sitting there, it just be looking at you like, are you really gonna eat me? And I'm just like, I'm hungry, bro. <laughs> We're talking about food. Yes. Fresh is the best. Depends on how fresh. I, I like, actually quite like sushi. Like sashimi sh sushi. Like, it's just a slab of fresh fish meat. Like, just raw fish meat. I actually quite like that stuff. It's actually really fucking, like, if you get, like, go to, like, a quality place that gets, like, quality fish. Like, that raw sashimi, or, or the raw fish, is stupid delicious. Like I went to uh, a Japanese place that would serve that shit on like a boat, like this this wooden like a miniature wooden boat. They put that shit down in front of you. It's like fish, all on the fuck, all on it. That shit is great. It's delicious. I know not everybody likes raw fish. Not everybody can eat raw fish, but uh. You know, for those that can, that shit's good. Wonder where I can order duck right now at this. Dude, duck is so good, dude. Roasted duck is delicious. Roasted duck is like, I don't like it more than chicken, but I like it almost as much as chicken. He was like, all right, I've got to go now. Did too much talking about food. I'm just going to have to, I'm going to end up eating again. <laughs> All right, Huey, thanks for stopping by the stream. It's been a pleasure to have you. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. And farewell, sayonara. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. If not, I'll see you next time. It's been a pleasure, as always. Stay cool out there, Huey. Stay cool. And also take care of that family. All right. Where was I, though? Roast duck, though. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure what that is. When, when you say that though, I, I be thinking about Puke Puke from Monster Hunter World. That's what I be thinking about. I'm like, is this man talking about Puke Puke? That's that shit that be throwing, that be spitting poisonous, uh, poisonous. 
slime balls at you. Wait, oh, Puka, is that Pufferfish? Please don't tell me that's Pufferfish. Please don't tell me that's Pufferfish. Because there's one fish I won't eat. That's Pufferfish. And you know, they say in Japan, that's just a delicacy, but you got to have a license to prepare that shit. Because if you fuck up, it can kill you. And as the one fish, I'm not going to take a chance of eating. I don't give a shit if the dude has a license to prepare it. I'm not risking my life just for, you know, just, just to fucking die eating something that's supposedly delicious. It's not puffer. Okay, good. Whew. <clears throat> Shio says, what I miss right now is the university sandwiches they sold at my campus. They were great. Wait, your university sold sandwiches that had duck? Bro, I might have to move to the Netherlands if that was the case. I want to try a shark bun. Now that sounds delicious. That fuck that like that sounds really good. I would I would like to try some fucking shark bun. Actually, man, there was this place when I lived in California. There was this Japanese restaurant, man. They actually sold like some like legit authentic as home style Japanese food like they had okonomiyaki which is Japanese pancakes they had onigiri oh my god onigiri there was like one they had is like onigiri and like tea like so basically they serve you a rice ball that is like sitting in a bowl of tea that shit is so good she says no no duck but the sandwiches were still great ah okay okay I like I like sandwiches like a really good prepared sandwich because see I feel like there's a trick to preparing like great sandwiches you'll like you'll be like if you, you make like a home style sandwich well not home style but like somebody at your house would make you a sandwich there'd be like sometimes it might make it good and sometimes it'll just make it bad but like I've had sandwiches that I wouldn't even expect to be just like absolutely delicious. And then sandwiches I expect to be good to just be like, just bomb, like bad. Catch up on a sandwich. I don't know how I feel about that one, man. <laughs> That's a stretch. <laughs> Catch up on a sandwich. Unless it's a burger. <laughs> That'd be the only way. I mean, the only way I eat ketchup on a uh, on a sandwich is if it was a burger. <clears throat> Jill says I still want to try making melon bread. Speaking of melon bread, I went to a bakery not too long ago. I was selling melon bread. I was going to get some. Actually, I was going to get the melon bread, and I was also going to get some tiramisu. Unfortunately, I didn't get the tiramisu. Well, yeah, I didn't get the tiramisu or the melon bread. I wanted to, but I didn't. And the main reason why I wanted to get the tiramisu is because I remember saying I was going to try it because, like, Huey suggested it, but I ended up not. I ended up not. But not because I didn't want it, but just because, again, I ended up eating at that Chinese restaurant, which was, like, next door. <laughs> so that's why I didn't get the stuff from the bakery. This man said, catch up on a sandwich. Catch up on a sandwich. All right, who who here eats ketchup on a sandwich? Just like normally. Who like normally puts ketchup on a sandwich? Like the condiments I put on a sandwich would be like mustard, mayo. That's about it. I think that's about it. Mustard and mayo. For my cold cuts. You know what I mean? Like my cold cut sandwiches, mustard and mayo. But ketchup on a sandwich, only if it's a burger. And he says, not me. Why'd you, why'd you say it? <laughs> why'd you say it then, my good sir? You made it sound like you ate it. Nobody, absolutely nobody. <laughs> Danny ketchup on a sandwich. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, like... I don't know where it came from. 
like I wanted to see if anyone did. Only if it's a burger. <laughs> but even then, even then, even if it's a burger, I, I like there were just so much like other condiments that are better. Like if I had the choice between ketchup or barbecue sauce, I would likely go the route of barbecue sauce. That says uh, sure. We want to see if anyone else did. Sure. Sure you did, Danny. <laughs> it's alright. Look, man. I am not judging anybody that likes to eat ketchup. I'm just not one of those people. It's as simple as that. I'm just not one of those people. Like Danny, if you like ketchup on your sandwich, there's nothing wrong with it. At least not to me. But uh yeah. Shiro says barbecue all the way. Barbecue is the way to go, bro. The way to go. Actually. Uh. What do you guys put on a hot dog? Like, what is what is your condiment of choice for a hot dog? Cause like I can't like cause there's like this man said our mac sauce. Isn't Max Hall's just Thousand Island? Danny said everything. Danny puts everything on the hot dog. I don't blame him. I don't blame you, bro. There's like a hot dog all the way is actually pretty all right. It's not my preference. I don't really prefer eating hot dogs all the way, but like, I know they're good, basically. Ketchup, jalapenos, pickles, onion. Dude, that's the mix right there, ain't it, bro? That is the mix. That's that's the mix. Real meats taste better. True. True. Or like, so okay, okay. So are you saying you prefer your hot dog grilled, not boiled or baked or fried? Cause I, I know like hot dogs off of the grill always seem to taste superior to me than like either fried baked or uh, boiled I always take the local cinema hot dogs they have a roasted onion barbecue sauce and some other shit on there that's actually not bad this man said microwave <laughs> you the fucking <laughs> Get that wrinkly ass hot dog out of here, bro. <laughs> that shit come out. That shit damn near exploding. Exploding at the seams and then it shrivels up. <laughs> I've had microwave hot dogs. Don't get me wrong. So I know what them bitches look like. <laughs> they fucking they fucking start popping in the microwave and shit. Like it's just, it's disgusting, bro. But when you on a budget, like you in college and you on a budget and all you got is that fucking microwave. <laughs> you just got some, and you, you, you trying to have something good for dinner. So you go to the local dollar store, come back with a pack of uh, eight pack of hot dogs. Throw like one or two of them bitches in the microwave. <laughs> Cool says I much prefer bratwurst though. Bratwursts are fucking god. Like, I love bratwursts. Shus German. We talking real food. JK, by the way. Dude, bratwursts are fucking delicious. Hey, those are those are like some of my favorite sausages right there, bratwursts. But that might I might be a little biased though there. Because like bratwursts are also my dad's favorite sausages. So we would Whenever he'd cook them, no, we would just eat them. So, so like, <laughs> I love me some broad words. Absolutely love them. Oh, yeah. Eggs and hot dogs. Hot dog is just US off brand sausage, basically. Yeah. It's just, honestly. I'm not gonna lie though. Like, as much as I like hot dogs, hot dogs make me sick. I can't, like, I actually can't eat hot dogs. They will legit just make me sick. Eggs and hot dogs. 
uh, okay you chop you take the eggs chop up the hot dogs and uh throw throw them into throw them into the eggs and scramble it that works i like that i can see the i can see the combination that's that's also a college meal right there bro that's a fucking college meal college budget meal right there as well yeah <laughs> yo that shit's good as that shit's good as fuck this is good but i would much prefer to take some spam i would much prefer to take some spam chop that up and throw that in with my eggs but spam is a little expensive nowadays so i can i can res i can respect the hot dog over the spam or luncheon me for those who aren't sure what spam is dude but yeah hot dog is just us off brand salt and there's there's so many fucking much better there's like so much better types of sausages out there than the actual you know what's funny to me what i just thought of i hear a lot from people that went to america that your foods have less flavor than in the netherlands would you even survive the taste explosion in that case if you ever came here meanwhile asia is like what you say scrub <laughs> i mean it's really hard to say because i feel like every place you go to has unique cuisines and so to be like one place has more flavorful food than another can it, it's it can it can end up kind of being subjective but I think it, it, it all, the main thing that's probably consistent with the taste buds of most like Americans is we tend to like a lot of fried food or fried or processed foods. So if let's say for example, in the Netherlands there's a lot of fried food, we'll likely like it. But I can say that about the same thing about Japan too, because Japan has a lot of fried foods that I look at and I'd be like, I would absolutely kill that. Like that looks delicious. And then there are some places that like have like these just weird concoctions. And people would be like, this is delicious. But I look at it and it's like a bowl of goop. And I'm just like, yeah, I don't know if that actually looks like would taste good. But you never know until you try it. And I've, I've been in a situation kind of like that when I went to a Korean restaurant. And while I say it looked like a bowl of goop, it wasn't necessarily a bowl of goop. It was actually uh, just soup with a particular type of noodles in it. That was so foreign to me that I was just like, yeah, this is way too different. It's way too different from what I'm familiar with. And I think that was my first experience eating rice noodles. And that's probably why. The Dutch cuisine is easy to make. Cook potatoes, get a vegetable, doesn't matter what, mash it together, get a piece of meat on the side, done. Bro, that sounds like a meal right there, shit. Dude, meat and potatoes? <laughs> Say less. <laughs> Say less. That's all I need. <laughs> I mean, sure, you know, with a splash of vegetables, that's fine. That's fine. I can live with the veggies, but fucking meat and potatoes? Say less. One of my favorite stews happens to be beef stew with nothing but fucking beef and potatoes. I love beef stew. Beef stew is one of my favorite shits. You know, I've been talking for quite a long time. <laughs> I was supposed to be playing something. We don't even talk about it's called Netherlands. I'm not sure. Prack? I guess that's how you say that. Netherlands Prack. Something wrong with it. Wait, is that a. Is, you're saying that's the name of the cuisine? I mean, not of the queen's cuisine, but of that mill that you just described. AKA Dutch random combination. <laughs> this man here. 
<laughs> he said, I went to a Korean karaoke bar restaurant a couple of days ago and we ordered some family sized soup entree. And what came out was literally just spicy broth with cut up hot dogs. An unbroken brick of instant ramen in the middle. Oh, bro, what? What? No fucking way, dude. You know what that sounds like? They took, <laughs> they took an instant ramen pack. You know, one of those, one of those spicy Korean instant ramen packs. Boiled the water. Dumped it into a bowl, poured the season packet in there, threw the uh, the instant ramen brick in there, chopped up the hot dogs, threw it in there, and served it to you. That's what, literally what it sounds like. I could make that shit real quick. In fact, that's what we used to make in college. Hot dogs and ramen. That's another good mix right there. Hot dogs, ramen, maybe a drop of egg, you know. One hour in, people still talking about food, bro. Food is the topic of a lifetime, bro. We could talk about food forever. Uh, there's, this is one of those conversations that will never end. <laughs> it was a nice place too, so I was shocked. The rest of the stuff we got was good. <sighs> well, you know, here's this is how you know if it's truly like authentic Korean though. Is did they serve you a bunch of side dishes? Because in most Korean restaurants, you'll have, you know, your entree, but they'll serve you a shit ton of little small side dishes of like pickled, like pickled radish, pickled cabbage, a bunch of pickled vegetables, really, because it's really all it is. It's a bunch of like really, it's a bunch of vegetables that have been pickled. Some are spicy, some are sweet, but you know, obviously they'll have the kimchi. No, Shiro. He ain't talking. We ain't talking about Rick and Morty. It was a bunch of family size stuff. You you share it with everyone at the table. Bunch of family size stuff. That sounds weird. That, that kind of sounds weird to me because like, <clears throat> yeah, because most most Korean places before any like the first type of food that will come out will be those side dishes. Everybody gets. You know, it, not specifically for themselves, <clears throat> but one second. Okay, all right. There'll be a bunch of like little dishes that everybody can pick from, and there's there's just pickled vegetables. There's a bunch of pickled vegetables. That's how like you, it's, it doesn't even come with your order. It's just if you order, you get that. You don't have to eat it. It just it comes with the meal. This man said Panda Express. I'm not gonna lie. I actually kind of like Panda Express. As much as I hate fast food, like, I mean, fast food Chinese, like Chinese food that's basically served to you in a fast food kind of way. I don't really like it, but, but Panda Express is uh, actually pretty good. At least the ones here, it's pretty good. I, I hate it. I, I have a love-hate relationship with Panda Express. I hate that it exists, but also I do like the food. <laughs> Cheryl says, anyway, I'm off the bed. See you tomorrow. And then I'll actually join to the end. Good night. All right, Cheryl, thank you for stopping by the stream, man. Have a good rest of your evening or night. Good night. Sleep well. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Well, you said I'll see you tomorrow. Then, uh, yeah. See you then, my good sir. Thank you for stopping by the stream. It's been a pleasure to have you. See you later. Oh man. Well, I suppose it is about that. Though. One final thing, though. Okay. What'd be that, my good sir? No! Actually, that sounds disgusting, to be honest with you. Like, wait, what? <laughs> that sounds fucking nasty, bro. That sounds disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> who pickles fucking who pickles meat, bro? Like, I mean, I know you can't do that. I think you can do that, right? But fucking it. 
vegetables, man. Pickled vegetables is the thing. That's the thing. That shit just sounds nasty, bro. That shit. I can't. This is Cole says evil. I can't believe he said it. I can't believe he said it. That shit sounds disgusting. Anyways. It's about time. I think it's about that time for me to hop into GU. Play that Monster Hunter Goo. Give me one second, though. All right. Goat is really lean meat, so it'd be bad even for pickle meat standards. Yeah, like, like I know you can pickle meat, right? But just that, I just... It's like an acquired taste, isn't it? It's like, it's not something that you do often for any particular reason. I, I couldn't, ugh, ugh. I just can't fathom that. That just sounds so nasty, bro. <laughs> and like, yeah, yeah, it's lean meat. So I, I don't know, man, that should. Honestly, I'm a very much of the three meat triad, right? I like me some chicken, I like me some pork, and I like me some beef. Those are my three meat triads. The only time I step out of that is for like fish or duck, you know? But like, it's rare I do anything outside of that. But fucking A, dude. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine eating goat. It's just it don't it don't seem right. It don't even sound right. I know you I know people do, but like it just like how I know people eat like deer or like alligator. I've had cow's tongue. I don't really like cow's tongue. <laughs> I've had pig tongue. I don't really like pig tongue either. <laughs> My grandma used to prep a lot, so he has like 50. She has like. Well, your grandpa, excuse me, I read that wrong. My mistake. Your grandpa used to prep a lot. So he has like 50 big jars of pickled meats and a couple of hundred pounds of beans and rice. And the jars look disgusting. <laughs> I feel, I can't even imagine that shit, right? That shit just, made, it just don't sound right. It does not sound right. Like, <laughs> I do not like the sound of pickled meat. Like, it just don't sound right, dude. <laughs> this man, Danny said, send pics. Why are you? <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> I think a good, a quick Google search might solve that one for you, Danny. Quick Google search. Bing it. Or duck duck go it. Who knows? Alright, 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 alright. Let's move on to live scene here. We're going to mute the music here. Alright, mute the music. Turn to this thing. Monster Hunter GU! What am I gonna do? Oh yeah, I need to change the dream thing. That was... That was the worst shit. I feel like I would have been better off clicking on the Rick Roll, man. <laughs> Danny's like, thank you. I don't know why Danny wanted to see that. But oh my God. Is the game loud? I feel like it's kind of loud.
that hungry now, Danny? That's just... It's just... That's just... Not This is a little loud. Man, so yeah, eating peanut butter cookies. Peanut butter cookies are actually pretty straight. All right. Well, I took a moment to kind of get familiar with the controls of this game and like how exactly it works. Is there multiplayer? How does multiplayer work? ZL, connect. Oh, cool. Create hub. While playing multiplayer, you can enter messages and chat with other players. Please refrain from using content that is illegal, offensive, personal, or that could infringe upon others' rights. Multiplayer is its own thing. Is it? Huh. That's cool. I don't know what this fucking means. Yeah, not like world. Yeah, I'm I'm already kind of lost a tad bit. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna name it Yoga. There we go. How does how do you set a passcode? Set a passcode for hunters and designate who it applies to. Okay, okay, okay. Create a hub. Passcode is one. If you don't know, it's going to be two, seven, six, one. So it's the opposite, it's backwards. So the one that it was for Rise, 1762, it's that, but backwards. So it is 2761. Wait, this isn't the same place I was at. Word, it is legit different place. Nice. What's the world map look like? A hub. Alright. Look how many times do I have to tell you you're rushing me is it gonna get things done faster. Oh, you must be a new hunter the chief is talking about. Sorry to snap at you, I thought you were another researcher bugging me for test results. Analysis again, grown. Let's start over. I'll give you the official spiel. Even welcome to the Y Academy. Y Academy is the preeminent authority in the study of monsters that inhabit this land we live in. Y Academy Village Center here is sponsored by the Hunters Guild. You hunter types normally call it a gathering hall, but it's not exactly inside or even a hall now, is it? Please refrain. Please refer to it as the Hunters Hub. Anyway, now the formalities are out of the way, let's get you registered. There you go, congratulations, you are now officially registered as a hunter. From now on, you're a member of the Hunter's Guild and licensed hunter for the Y Academy. Whenever you want to take on a quest from us, speak to the lady there at the quest hunter and she'll be happy to take care of you. What's more, you're free to use the facilities here as often as you like, so take advantage of them. They're the shop with items useful for hunts. A place to grab a quick bite to eat. Your item box. Basically everything a hunter needs, all in one convenient place. Hmm, I should also mention the prep area. Prep area, uh, path to that gate leads to the prep area. You'll find a lot of useful amenities there. I'll arrange for you to have access to it, but be sure to take a look before heading out on the quest. Now, if you want to know more details, just talk to the hunter standing right over there. All you need to know. Okay. Hello there. You must be the new hunter everyone at the Y Academy is talking about. And I see Y too. I've never seen someone so solid, so reliable. I just want to give you all of my quests right now. 
Ah, sorry, I am babbling. You must think. Oh, sorry, haven't uh haven't gotten that yet. Give me one second. I need to update that. My bad. Let me uh get through this real quick. Uh How do you know how do you find the um Oh there it is. There it is. Alright, I'll fix that right now. Dude, that shit is long as fuck. Why is it so long? Why is the ID so fucking long, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? <clears throat> Mans. Alright. Shit, dude. 04 8877 All right, ID has been updated. Ask Mark. ID. <clears throat> I missed the ability to be able to spin around the camera here, but it's okay. Hi. Hello, congrats on becoming a registered hunter. Yes, 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 yes. Kinda, I kind of get the gist of what they do in Monster Hunter. Harvest Tour. Alright, so what does it want me to do? Survive until the time expires or deliver a Paw Pass ticket. Oh, that's all I gotta do is just survive? Hell yeah. Let's do that shit real quick. I played Monster in the World a bit earlier and I miss being able to zoom around on the dog. I played this game a little bit earlier and I immediately miss Monster Hunter Rise myself. Rise is just such a, it's just such a good game. Harvest Tour is like a gathering quest, but it, it just says survive until the time expires, right? So like, I could just go there, do the shizzle. This man is fucking, look at this dude. Fucking looking cool. <clears throat> I'm just gonna, just gonna survive. That's all I gotta do. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me read the quest info again. The survive until time expires or deliver a Paul Pass ticket. Do I have Paul Pass tickets? Don't look like it. Let me check my inventory. Maybe I should take some potions with me. Oh, they spawn in. Okay. All I have to do is just, yeah, okay. After like five or 10 minutes? Hell yeah. All right, well shit. Let's just go fuck some shit up then. It's, it's basically just free kill. I'm just gonna go free kill some shit. I like how this man is like, unlike world. <laughs> the, second, the second time you done did that, he's like, it's not like world, unlike world. Well, see, even though, even though it's just a gathering quest, nothing is stopping me from slaying some beast. So this is basically just like, let's just say it's like a warm up. Well, I'm going in. <clears throat> Wait, hold on. Before I go, I need to eat shit. World had so many quality of life improvements. You have to do key quests in order to get a higher hunter rank. What's key quest? Wait. Is that key quest? Let me see. I don't know a key quest. <laughs> How do I know if it's a key quest?
it won't tell you the fuck bro it's time to get to work you gotta look him up I don't know how I feel about that alright let me see the list first up tackling tetsukabra all right let me check my inventory take items i want to take ocean Mega potions. Okay. God damn it, take items. Uh, do I have any? Do I need to take the pickaxe? I think I'm gonna take a pickaxe. Pickaxe. I only need to bring one, right? Or do wait, no way, these break? Okay, okay. So I'll give you a better one. Let me store this one then. Alright, let me see. Uh, you can give items in this game? What? This is where to get monster hunter trait. Eat real quick. I forget, this is not where you go to eat and sit at a table. There's a table. Oh, here it is. Eat a meal. Order a meal. Damn. The fuck? <laughs> I think I'm gonna go. Defense large, baby. Ah, fuck that. I'm gonna take attack at L. Sir. Increases the amount of Zinni. Increases. Fills, monster, fills gauge faster when attacking a monster. Bounced by another player. Uh, wait, no. I'm gonna take that. All right. Oh, dude, I forgot you could do that. Dude, this is so old school, bro. So fucking old school, dude. Oh, God, I love it. So good. It brings a tear to my eye, man. It's so fucking old school. It's so fucking old school. And whetstone. <clears throat> What I like to call the weed stone. Item pouch. Can I sort? Oh, I can. Mm. Uh -huh. Damn, this game. <laughs> it's, so, it's so good. Some stuff in the box, like a map, food, drink, easy flash bomb. Actually, but that's a free paintball. Take that too. Take first paint. Yep.
I don't remember this shit. Oh my god. Fucking dinosaurs out this bitch, bro. And he already know. He's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna run the direction. Classic, dude. So classic, dude. Monster. Oh my god, I'm in love. With this game. I haven't even fought anything. Well, haven't even. Yeah, haven't even gotten into the game. I'm still Hunter Rank One. I'm just like, yep, I love it. Oh, looks like Danny's found the monster. Ah, shit! You bitch. All right, fuck it, we out. Ooh, let's go, big boy. Staggered. All right, we good though, dude. It's so old school because like you literally have to stop to fucking heal. Can't even move while healing. All right. I, I hate the fact that I only have a back dodge. It's so weird. Whenever I hit my evade button, it only dodges back. That is, that is, it's so awkward, man. Oh, what a waste. Oh. All right, time to sharpen that weapon. Again? You know what I should have did? That's where I made my mistake. 
I made my mistake by not paintballing him. Thinking that this was like Rise. There we go. Now I know where your bitch ass is. Am I still not penetrating this dude? What the fuck? Let's go, poke his tail. Ooh. Just fucking lands this fucking piece of shit. I'm just a hunter. A normal hunter from the guild. Alright. First aid. I'll take another one. Dude, the health pool is so fucking huge in this game. It's unreal. Well, I mean, it's huge because I guess the food that I ate. Repair my fucking weapon again. This shit's go this shit feels it's like basically poking this boss with like a stick. This is really all my spear is. is <laughs> Hello. into the beast of the belly. Wait, the belly of the beast. <laughs> the beast of the belly. <laughs> the dive into the belly of the beast is what I meant to say. Let's go! X car. I have to show my respects. I have to pay my respects to my to the hunt. Man, this shit literally fucking decreased already. Fuck. This this is literally a fucking twig. This lance is a piece of shit, is what it is. <laughs> it's all right. I'll work on a better one here momentarily. The, the aesthetic of this Monster Hunter in comparison to World is just so unique. Take items. Is there like a take all button? I wish there was. There we go. Done. Send it to the box. Oh, yeah, that's what I should do. It'll waste space in your inventory. You're right. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have did that. I I made a mistake of sending it to my inventory, not to my box. What was I thinking? You're absolutely right there. I completely forgot. <clears throat> I, can, I can fix this. First, let me get the quest. Hi. Lost in the Jurassic Frontier. the next one lost in the jurassic frontier all right get these items out of my inventory store I 
have to agree kind of with what Cole said earlier. Cole said that World has a lot of quality of life features. I agree with that. Like, I, I agree. There is a bit of a... Uh, you know... Quality of life. That is direly missing. <laughs> but you know, it's okay though, because either way, I still like this shit. Oh, slow down, slow down. camera let's depart we are hunting a gypseros gypseros why did i take that eh, who knows Why is my health so low? Oh my god, what happened to my health? <laughs> uh, fucking the food almost killed me, bro. My fucking my fucking mill before the before the hunt almost killed my ass. That's what they saying. Nose, nose. You can also sleep. Oh yeah. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Fuck. Some things just can't ignore. Dude, that shit's kind of scary running it. Hell yeah. Give me the shit. One. Yes, sir. Two. Deserve. Fuck it. Dude, this is, brings back the new player feeling in uh, Monster Hunter World a tad bit. The only difference about this and the new player experience in Monster Hunter World is Monster Hunter World. Well, the new player experience, you have to sit through all the cutscenes. This one just quest, 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 quest. I hope, I'm hoping it's a bit more open to that in Rise. I, like, oh my God. Is that you? Oh shit.
Let's go. God damn. Get this shit. Okay. I feel like he's gonna do something, I just can't quite tell. Good shit. <laughs> Look at that, he's fucking this dude up. God damn. <laughs> it's gonna take some getting used to because the the lance kinda controls a little weird. Dude, this, this shit. Such a piece of shit. And he already dead? Can I do the counter in this one? No, that's the parry. Not parry, but the poke. There's no counter in this one. Well, I think there is. I think you just got time to block just right. The block in this game is a tad bit not as forgiving as it is in like World or Rise. I might try a different weapon than this, uh, than this here Lance. mistaken right even if your weapon doesn't have any uh doesn't have any sharpness it will do like blunt damage right wait this wasn't a monster we were supposed to be fighting we were just fighting some random monster we <laughs> just fighting some random monster <laughs> i was like this didn't look like Jim's Rolls in the picture, but, uh... Ow. Oh, wait, no. He's not dead! What? What is this shenanigans? Oh, now he's dead. He plays dead? Is that what he did? Or was I just carving something else? Oh, so he plays dead. Dude, that's fucking crazy, dude. You, you know what? I. Man? No way, bro. No way. Like, there's certain things like that that I wish were in Monster Hunter World. Like, I wish monsters would play dead like that. That'd be really fucking cool. Shock traps don't work on him, too. Oh, really? Interesting. Good thing I didn't try any shock traps. Quest complete! Right. 
You know, this game is actually quite, quite surprises me. It really does. All right. Wait, hold on. I can't change my equipment there? All right, where do I go to change my equipment? Items. Oh. Quest. Arena instructor. Hunter. Okay, hunter. Oh, this way? <clears throat> what is this? Armory and smithy. Palico armory. Bed. Buckle board. Alright, let's check Smithy. Alright, let us forge weapons. No, let's not forge weapons. Just change equipment. First or something. That katana though looks sick. <clears throat> Why does the insect glaive look like a fucking rifle? I'm gonna have to, man. Just because it looked like a rifle, man. Just because, like, that was. Wait, no! Is that weapons design is way better, too? Yeah. That shit right there, man. It just looks so good. Needs shiny beetle. All right, now I'm going to figure out how they put that. I guess this guy. Yeah, here it is. Just because it looked like a fucking rifle, man. This shit looks sick, dude. Oh my god, this shit looks sick. That shit. <laughs> That shit is sick. Why? I love it. I, I just, I love it. It's just so good. It's just so fucking good. All right. We can't get nothing from this dude. So we out of here. That's a big ass bug though. Holy shit, the Kinsex are huge in this game. Dude, I'm in love. This sh <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in GU. I'm just, I'm stuck here until fucking Rise comes out. What's the next quest? Let me see here. Uh, Local threat. Let's oh no. There you go. Need to eat. It's mill or is there a mill? We are fighting a Yin Cuckoo. Inkaku.
was almost mystical. <laughs> I might. This man got a fucking steak skewer on. Oh my god. That shit. Oh no, increase the attack of demon. Here we go. There we go. That man has a fucking <laughs> roasted steak on his back as a weapon. God damn. <laughs> okay, I'm going to die. I need to go take a nap. Good night, everybody. Ugh. Just kidding. I'm not leaving the stream. Just in the game. Come on, guys. There you go. Wake up. Nighttime? Word? That's dope. I wasn't expecting it to ever become night in this game. Hey! Oh, dude, oh my god. This, is this? I remember. This Is this the same zone as in Try? It looks like it. I'm having flashback. Flashback. Better than in Kuku. Alright, question is how to fucking how to use this shit. Shit. Oh, you just tap it. I think. Dude, oh my god, the bug just works so much better in the fucking. Oh, it's so good. I got two. Let's go. Wasn't expecting that. A bug's a little slow, but it'll be all right. Dude, oh, dude, oh, it's, it's just so much better, bro. I like. 
I actually, I actually like the inside glaive in this game. The only thing I miss is not being able to vault. Or at least I haven't figured out how to vault yet. Go. You bitch! A paintball! Awesome. That's all I need to do that as well. Oh, this is at its maximum. God, I love it. I'm so happy. Oh no. Dude, I, it's so weird how it almost feels like the insect glaive got downgraded from previous, like from the newer versions of Monster Hunter to, like from this game to the newer versions of Monster Hunter. Like, I, I just can't, I can't understand it. Either that, or I've become enlightened by playing this game on the appropriate way of playing monster, uh, of playing insect glaive and monster hunter. I, I don't know what it is. I'm not sure which one it is, but great. Go this way. I need to put the paintball on. He ain't this one. Apparently not there either. <clears throat> oh, we went through the wrong, the wrong way. It seems. It's all good. And he's not this way. Next time, I'm just gonna throw a paintball. Yes, okay, following you, good sir. Okay. Ah, there's another path here. See, see. Dun dun dun. 
is a little jank though <laughs> but I can't say all right he's out here again but I came prepared this time marked him on the map he's in four bug is hella dumb in this game. <laughs> this is, I think that's the only issue. The bug is pretty dumb. Specs. Right there. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. Cut shell. I remember those those things. Hunters, Fly Academy, peoples, most likely. Ooh, time to pay my specs. Hmm, monster bone small. What we get here? Bird wyvern fang. Quest complete. This, 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 done, and then send all items to box, done. I had to pay a fee? What? Fee? What is this shenanigan? Talking about fee. Wow, oh my. I don't remember it. I don't remember how to pay no fee for no shit. Are you telling me the items are pulled out of the inventory? I gotta pay a fee for them? I don't want them no more. <laughs> oh. Want to make a potion? Good to go. Ah, next quest. Let's see. Uh, what does it say? It says Lagombi. 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 Hunt of the day. 
No, that's not it. Legombi. Name of the quest is Snow with Occasional Legombi. into armor, perhaps? Can I? Can I only, is it one at a time? Only one person at a time can go in there? Oh no, I can't go in there because I have a quest. That's why. That would make sense. Excuse me? Well, this menu is it, it, ha it leaves a lot to be desired <laughs> the shopping menu though does leave a lot to be desired yikes <laughs> oh that's so bad All right, fuck that. It's too much. It's gonna take too much time. All right, this way, quest board. I mean, technically, I haven't really had an issue with the armor that I had on, so it's not like I'm in dire need to change my armor, but I don't know, man. <laughs> I just want I just want to see I just want to see what some of the sets look like, you know what I mean? That's, I feel like that's one of the quality of life things that World added that I'm like, like I'm starting to miss, right? Being able to preview full sets of gear. Because I can't do that here, unfortunately. Or it doesn't, not in a very convenient way or obvious way. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Let's see here. Chris is coming down. Ooh, I like some of that. I got a website where you can see full sets. Alright, cool. Cool, I'll check that out. Just uh, link it to me. Or drop it in the suggestion box, either way. I'll get to it. Snow with occasional Gumby. Man looks like a walking tank. Yo, this fucking palico right here, with this hat looks sick as shit. He look like he could be Nobunaga. Nobunyanga. I added it to the suggestion. Thank you, my good sir. I will definitely check that out. Hot drink. I don't believe I'm gonna need to drink one of those. Take some first aids. Uh, oh, 
can't jump off. That's good. Even though this game is kind of old, it's, it is actually really pretty. Like this, this is really pretty. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked. That's like really fucking pretty. This man keeps with and he's waving to the fucking hot air balloon. Is that what brought us here? They show location. Oh. Wait. Fucking uh, hog wants to fucking fuck wants to fucking fight. I shouldn't want to go. Wait, did I go the right way? I don't think I went the right way. I I actually really like. That fucking balloon that has the lookout like that it makes it feel like you're not the only one out here you know that's one of the one things I kind of wish that the larger monster hunter gets I want to see like more like more like hunting groups, like out hunting. Is that Lagombi? Oh my god, I forgot the hill. I forgot the fucking sleep in the bed. I'm just running around with low health. No, I tried to dodge. Fucking hog. Oh, 
Oh shit! I take a sip while I'm uh, standing right next to the monsters, okay? Ow. Oh lord. Hopefully I can't fall off. I had to get out of there, man. That shit was just chaos. Shit. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> Shit. Like if you time your evade perfectly, it'll uh, give you like that perfect evade bonus. Or maybe that's just my style that uh, I have on. Fucking palicles killed it. Good shit. I'm in there. I'm in there. All right. Yep. Oh, yep. Right out of the booty hole. Okay, I'm done. I'm just uh yep wait hold on I think there's still some more in there yep all right nice knees okay nope there's nothing else in like is it just me or is there more variety of monsters in this game than there is in fucking world like i'm a, am i just imagining things are cuz it feels like it feels like it Let me see, yeah. Great Jargus. Okay, Pook. Gulu Yaku. Yingaruga. Uh. Alamu, or whatever that shit is called. Gigante. Raytheon, Bacalos, Diablos, Black Diablo.
Be and I feel like of all those I just counted, I feel like I'm already running out. <laughs> I know there's the the uh, the water one, the water ones. I just feel like there's more monsters in this game than there is in the world, which is ironic. Considering the fact that the name of the game is World, Monster Hunter World, you would figure there'd be more monsters in it than its predecessors. And I love Monster Hunter World, but it just, it feels small in comparison to like this game. And this game it doesn't even have the full blown like same level of like quality of life features and all that etc etc or the full blown like starting locations the hub locations i mean i don't know man like playing this makes me makes me wonder like why why monster in the world doesn't have more <laughs> Oh, I didn't eat shit. Order a meal. Let's see. Ooh, got some new stuff. Dragon salad again. Try rich. Hey, what a powerful flavor. That wasn't so bad, Hick. I care to get drunk, the fuck? Why? My character keeps getting fucking turned up every time she eats. I don't blame her though. <laughs> Cause I would too. Reminds me of the Rotten Vale a little bit. At least, like, kind of like the first impressions. No, I take that back. I take, I take it all back. <laughs> it does not remind me of fucking Rotten Vale. I'm way off with that one. Way off. I think the color scheme, at least in the starting area, kind of did at first. But now, like, actually being in the zone, I take it all back. It kind of looks like... It kind of looks like... The, uh... Like, this is the place from Monster Hunter Rise. Because that's, like, very reminiscent of the Rise architecture. Uh oh, so Monster Hunter Rise is a prequel. This, this is what happens when we're all dead. I missed my paintball. Let's try that again. Are you fucking kidding me? I immediately deflected. The oh, fuck? Ooh. 
We're gonna have to work on that. Ow, I'm in the wrong button. Fuck. I'm just gonna keep hitting them. Or I can maybe find something soft. Like his tail. Ooh, that tail's mine. Hot. Go, uh, oh, my minion. How do you keep getting fucking ones, my good sir? There we go. Now we got it too. That man ran. I didn't need to leave. his mouth and then oh no not like that yep. fuck is going on <laughs> just, just trying to just trying to see what he got inside of his belly dash extract oh uh oh dash juice maybe Way back out. There you go. It's so cool, dude. I'm gonna have to upgrade this piece of shit. Cause otherwise, it's just it's just a waste of fucking. It's just a waste. Okay, let's see here. Next monster. This game's kind of making me mad. <laughs> not because not because it's bad or anything, but because I'm over here looking at like I just scrolled down the list of like what's the next quest that I got to do, and I was like, yeah, let me see what else we got. There can't be that many different monsters. Nah, nah, this game has way more monsters than World does. It's it's kind of embarrassing how many monsters this game has in comparison to World. I'm you know, I'm gonna have to do some I'm gonna have to double check on that. Because maybe maybe I'm just Maybe I'm just, you know, I don't know. He said we got bugs. <laughs> I know, right? We got the fucking tracking bugs. Please rise. Monster Hunter Rise. I need you to be world, but with generation ultimate level of amount of monsters, please. There's so many fucking monsters in this game. 
Wait, your fucking cloak changes colors? Holy shit. That's fucking badass. Wait, no, your your arm inside of your armor does too. Is that for you had a lot of monsters uh too? Rainbow pigment. Oh, okay. Man, uh, it's making me mad, dude. Cause I, I put, I probably not. I didn't put a lot of hours into world as some people did. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, yeah, 400 hours is a lot of hours. It's not, not in compared to like the amount of hours people would usually like regularly put into a Monster Hunter game. Regularly. You know, you're expecting most people who play Monster Hunter to put in upwards of 500 plus. Regularly. But, like... That game didn't even have that many monsters in comparison to this game. Or, as you said, for you. And I'm just... I'm just in awe. I'm in awe... By the fact... Like, how little we got as, like, being, like... Having only really played Monster Hunter World recently, I'm in awe by the fact that, we, like, if if Monster Hunter World got as many monsters as this game did, or like for you did, I don't know, like, I don't know if I would ever quit. I probably would have played it forever, because you know that's I think. That was the one thing about World I kept wanting. I kept wanting more monsters. And it didn't even have to be big monsters, right? It didn't have to be siege level monsters. It didn't we didn't need Fataluses or fucking you know whatever the fuck. Safajiva and shit. Give us just give us like monsters. It's like I think this one has a 100 yeah, man, just give like, just give us different fucking wildlife, and I get it. Monster Hunter World was a very ambitious, very technical Monster Hunter. It cost a lot of money to make that game. Probably even more money than it did to make this one. Because I feel like a lot of the assets in this Monster Hunter, they probably repurposed from other Monster Hunter games. Fair enough. So when they came to World, transitioning these old, older monsters to the newer Monster Hunter probably wasn't going to happen. Probably not going to be cost efficient. But with Rise on the Horizon, literally nine days from now and counting i hope i hope they put the longevity into rise like they did for fucking a uh, gu game like gu or for ultimate just like monster hunter ultimate game i honestly do i hope they fucking do because i want to put i want to put a thousand hours into rise i want like i legit do i just i really fucking do i want to put a thousand hours on the fucking switch version and i want to put two thousand hours on the fucking pc version that's what i want i'm just saying let me get this quest Next one is the new tenant. I think I need to talk to lady. Yeah, this lady. Oh, greetings, young hunter. She has an urgent quest for me to improve my hunter rank. Excellent. Hi. Urgent quest time. Thank you. The new tenant. If 
makes me so angry. I, I'm legit kind of mad. <laughs> like, I'm legit. I like, and you know, it's a good kind of mad though. This is a good kind of mad because it's like, I just want it more from world. That's it. That's all I want it. I just want it more from world. Oh, that man went in. Oh, wake up. Wait. Oh, okay. There we go. Eat meal. Thank you. Water. Heroics activated. Ooh. That's the part. Hunt a Blangonga. Blagonga. Hunt a Blagonga. We out here. Dude, when the music get quiet like that, it's kind of worrisome. <laughs> that looks useful. up his palico <laughs> and he seems to already know where he's at or at least general location this is please don't be a trap I want this you? The Longo Pelt. Wait, Blagonga Pelt. Is this another one? Ooh, another one. Hmm, hmm. Langonga. Ooh, big monkey. Saber tooth monkey. That's bullshit, bro. I drank a hot drink. I'm already cold. <laughs> I'm already fucking cold. motherfucker goes on the ground I don't know no monkey that goes on the ground ah shit <laughs> okay please don't kill me fucking the ads 
gonna put in some effort to kill these ads. It's gonna be my job. Yo, wait, this motherfucker did so much damage to me, bro. This dude did so much damage to me, yo. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, maybe it wasn't the brightest idea to come out here wearing this. Maybe I should uh, try putting on something else. And they just dumped me behind the tent. Not in front of the tent. Behind the tent. Fuck it, I kind of figured it was coming though. Gotta go the long way. You can't actually jump up there. Danny. So let's see. I'm in here. Now I can. God damn, just bump into me and already fucking. Wasn't even looking at me. It's okay, I'm just gonna do some damage to this guy. I just fucking got here, you asshole. Free loot, real quick. Lost one. No, I lost two. Son of a bitch. Oh well, that's fine. That's absolutely. Can dodge the outside of the zone. This is the one thing I like about world is not having to deal with getting hit out. But I also feel like getting hit out of the zone can be a lifesaver. Did he follow me into the next zone? Okay. Is that? Oh 
only came at the cost of dying one time. Well, give me a second going in. Just exploring what he got in here. Yeah, he don't need those. Why he got teeth in his stomach? What the fuck? Okay, furs probably makes about a good bit of sense. All right, be out of here. Oh, I've been so weak. That works. That's complete. No, let me take I think that will be it for Monster Hunter GU for today. Yes, that will be it for Monster Hunter GU for today. I think I will probably wrap up a little bit early today. I feel like we were to run another one, we may run over, uh, run over 9 p.m. But also because I feel like if I'm going to start doing Hunter Rank 2 shit, I'm going to need to spend probably some time, uh, getting some gear. Some better gear than what I got, for sure. How do I do that? Let's see here. No! Cool. <laughs> what is it? What? What? Thank you. Hey, no problem, Danny. It was, uh, thank you for, uh, playing with me today. It's been good. I actually got to enjoy some Monster Hunter GU. And I, I really, I really can't believe I missed out on this game because it is legit actually really fucking good. How do I get out of this shit? Let me, let me go around over here. I think I should run here. Go to the bed and sign up. Oh wait, no, I know what I can do. Because it says when you leave the game, right? So I could be like, start. I can't just leave the game. Leave the lobby. Oh, okay. Got you. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let's see it. Disconnect. Yes. All right, now. I should be able to leave, right? All right, cool. All right, let us switch back to our thing. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, my thoughts are as this. After playing, you know, an hour or some change of uh, Monster Hunter GU, what I once thought of Monster Hunter World, I now, like, I thought, like, it makes Monster Hunter World kind of feel small. Like, it's, I'm trying to, trying to make a good comparison here. I, maybe... Maybe small is not the word, right word. Lacking in some regards, especially especially when it comes to like creatures. One thing I can say about World is the quality of life changes that they made to World are like, mwah. 
Cause like some of the some of the like navigation and menu navigation and GU, I'm just like, bro, I'm missing fucking world right now. But when it comes to like exploring and the monster like the monster variety, because there's like so much there's so many different types of um just like native like monsters just kind of like uh per zone and i feel like we don't really get that too much in what well, we do i can't say we don't but not i would say not to the same extent as like gu i just feel like for every zone in gu there's you know the local fauna the local wildlife and then there's like the local big monsters and in world some of that some of that kind of like they kind of spill over into each other where like one monster will end up in a different zone because of xyz reasons and it's like okay <laughs> but i get i get what they were trying to say with the world though that it's basically just a little tiny island but here's my thing this is the reason why I was so optimistic for the guiding lands when the guiding lands came out to uh monster hunter world because i thought the guiding lands was going to be every zone i mean technically it is but i thought it was like legit just going to be connecting the rotten veil to the fucking uh ancient forest and to the elders reach and like it's just going to be this one map it's just going to be turning everything into this one massive map and like I know that would have took a lot of reworking, but I was hoping that's what it would have been, right? Because I think that would have, like, that would have legit had set Monster Hunter World apart from like its predecessor. Because Monster Hunter World is it, it is a step towards modernizing some of the systems behind Monster Hunter. Because like, like I said, I don't miss the fucking loading screens between zones in Monster Hunter GU. I, I really don't. <laughs> so running from one area to the next and having to sit through those loading screens, I don't miss that too much. And luckily that shit's not in Rise. I, I feel like after a world, it's hard to really go back to some of those like archaic features in the older Monster Hunter games like uh the lack of the wire bug or it just some some changes to the weapons as well some changes to the weapons as well are very it, it, they hurt they hurt my soul some of those changes to the weapons hurt my soul because like the lance doesn't have the counter i miss the counter so bad like are you like not having the counter at least it's not as easy to pull off like in gu it's the counter or at least i think the block needs to be like perfectly timed to pull off the counter but in world and in rise the lance counter is much 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 for more forgiving and i mean it's okay it's not bad but like i wish gu had that but again, Monster Hunter World came after, and so did Rise, and they were making things a little bit more quality of life, and I like it. Uh, there is something interesting that I have to say about uh, the Insect Glaive that I never really... I, I think playing Monster Hunter GU gave me a different perspective on how to play Insect Glaive. It gave me a different perspective and I like that. And I think, I think if I were to go play Monster Hunter Rise now, I think I would probably enjoy playing Insect Glaive again because I have a different, like I said, a different perspective on how to do it. So probably when I'm offline, I might give that a shot. I might, I might do that offline. And I might try to get better gear in GU offline. But tomorrow though, tomorrow, I'm not sure if tomorrow's gonna be a Monster Hunter day. That's the only thing. Tomorrow might be, we might be playing something else tomorrow.
just maybe. So I'm gonna think about that. Well, no, we probably will be playing the Rise demo because Shiro said he'll be here. So we might play the Rise demo to try to beat Magnamalo again. Yeah. Maybe playing the Rise demo to try and beat Magnamalo. So there it is. That's what it is. Tomorrow, Magnamalo, Monster Hunter Rise demo. I'm gonna try to get Shiro on to see what we can pull off. If not, I'll probably have something else. I'll probably have something else to do tomorrow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as I was telling, saying earlier, I think I'm gonna end just a little bit early tonight. So as you all know, I stream Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time till about 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sometimes ending a little bit earlier, sometimes ending a little bit later, but today we are ending a little bit earlier than about 10 minutes to be precise. But I want to thank all my Lakers chatters and VOD watchers for sticking around the stream today and watching. It's been a pleasure to have you. Pleasure to be here for you today. Really grateful to everybody for sticking around. And yeah, hopefully I will see you again next time or tomorrow. I said that backwards, but that's okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Yogo. I'm going to let the music play out. Good night, everybody. <laughs>